We're back now with DNC Chair Tom Perez. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Perez. Good morning. Great President, to see you. It's great to be with you. It's been 25 years since mm -hmm. Alabama elected a Democrat to the U.S. Senate. With these charges whirling around about Roy Moore, do you think there's a real chance for a Democrat to seize that seat? Well, I think what we learned last Tuesday and what we've learned in the months before last Tuesday is Democrat, Democrats can compete and win everywhere. That's what we showed last week, not just in, now, not just in uh, New Jersey and Virginia, but in mayor's races and state Senate races. A few months back, we won three seats in Oklahoma. Doug Jones is the underdog. There's no doubt about it. We've increased our investment in state parties by a third because when we are investing in organizing, uh, when we are investing in good candidates and when we lead with our values, uh, we can compete everywhere. What, what, what was your real takeaway from Tuesday? Are you reading too much into this possibly being a referendum on Trump? Well, the last time we won both uh, New Jersey and Virginia was 2005, uh, the governor's races. And in 2006, we took, over, uh, we took over the U.S. House. And what I learned from not just last Tuesday, but from a number of special elections in the months leading up to last Tuesday, is when we are united as a party, when we compete everywhere, when we lead with our values, when we organize, organize, organize everywhere in every zip code, we do very well. And that's what we did in New Jersey. That's what we did in Virginia. There were 17 seats in Virginia that in the House of Delegates there that were held by Republicans where Hillary Clinton won. We were organizing there. We won 14 out of the 17, and the other three are in a runoff. Uh, uh, we can our, compete everywhere. Okay. In our latest ABC News Washington Post poll, 61% of Americans say Democratic leaders are mainly criticizing Trump, not presenting alternatives. Is the Democratic message too much about Trump and, and not oh. enough about your vision? Oh, well, we were leading with our values in Virginia and elsewhere. And, and again, we talked about health care a lot because health care is a right for all, not a privilege for a few. And the number one issue for voters in Virginia was health care. They understand that the Republicans are trying to take their health care away. Let, let, we were, let, let's go back to, to President Trump again. And, and again, 61 percent of Americans say Democratic leaders are mainly criticizing Trump. You, you say that's not true. Billionaire Tom Starr, he's mm -hmm. the single biggest donor to the Democratic Party in the last two election cycles, put millions of dollars behind an ad calling for President Trump's impeachment. Let's look. He's brought us to the brink of nuclear war, obstructed justice at the FBI, and in direct violation of the Constitution, he's taken money from foreign governments and threatened to shut down news organizations that report the truth. It's why I'm funding this effort to raise our voices together and demand that elected officials take a stand on impeachment. Do you support that effort? You know, I've been fighting for organizing. We've been fighting for making sure that people have access to good jobs. We've been fighting for health care. The, the, the culture of corruption around Washington, D.C. is very real. And, and do not you, just do the Do you Russians. support what he is saying in that ad? Would you like him to stop doing that, Mr. No, Steyer? No, Tom, Tom Steyer has a right to do whatever he feels he needs to do. I, and Tom Steyer invested a lot of money in Virginia and elsewhere. And I applaud his efforts in investing in in organizing and in helping elect Democrats. And, and there are a number of people who, who are very, myself included, very, very concerned about the culture of corruption that has engulfed Washington, D.C. So in places like, like Alabama. Efforts. Well, again, I, I'm, I am not talking about impeachment because I'm talking about good jobs for folks. I'm talking about health care for all. I'm talking about making sure that we're fighting for the issues that matter most. I'm going to very about. quickly say, on, in, in corruption charge of the trial of New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez, if he is found guilty, do you think he should Well, those are. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens. The jury has not spoken yet. But should he resign if he's Well, again, uh, the jury has not spoken yet, so I, I don't like to answer what-if questions. Okay. Thanks very much for joining us this morning.